Are you guys ready? Okay, okay, okay. My name's Ken Liu. I'm a product design engineer at a large company in the Silicon Valley. When I'm not working as a product design engineer, I'm a drone pilot. Every drone pilot you see is usually wearing a pair of goggles. The goggles have a wireless video receiver. This allows us to see the image from the pilot camera as if we were sitting right there. What I really love about flying drones is the feeling of flying, of real flight. And I feel like I'm in the cockpit of an aircraft. I can dance around trees, go around obstacles, fly 100 feet in the air and then dive down. It's a feeling of weightlessness, freedom, and the ability to do whatever I want in the air. My call sign happens to be Flying Bear, and it comes from the fact that I'm a UC Berkeley grad, so I'm a Cal Bear, and I've always said, I'd want to be Superman, I want to be able to fly. So, I'm Flying Bear. The drones that we use for racing are very different than the things that can be bought at Best Buy, Fry's, or Amazon. We make all these from scratch. We select all the right components for high performance racing. I've been able to fly one of these racing drones up to 80 miles an hour. Cost for a racing drone is between $400 to $500. The video system, the motors, the flight controller, and the frame. Build time for me is about three to four hours. All in the cars. Um, I built it on this frame because these are- Every day for my lunch hour, I try to go to the park and practice with my friends. Go! Two, one more, one more, guys! Racing with pilots that are highly skilled is important. So I learned how to push myself and also learn how to push without pushing too far. Right at the edge, man. Nice race. Thanks, man. There are so many challenges with drone racing. There are a lot of obstacles in the track. There are really tight turns leading into narrow gates. And simultaneously, there's a mental factor of trying to race as fast as possible to catch the person in front. A lot of races are single elimination. So if somebody doesn't beat the first pilot, they're done. Dang it! Oh, oh no! <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for coming out for a great day of practice. See you all tomorrow at sunrise for race day. I got one hit, right. broke a motor. On November 21st of 2015, we have the Aerial Sports League's Fall Classic Race. We have drone racing, combat, and freestyle, all on the same day. At competitions, there is a lot of adrenaline coursing through my body. I've been at competitions where my thumbs are shaking so hard, I can't fly. <laughs> and there in the air. Whoa! Oh, oh no, clip wire flag. Oh. I didn't even get to finish because I got hit in the air. So I hope this still works. I'll try to stay optimistic and then cross my fingers that I do well in heat four. <laughs> my wife, Pam, she gets it. She helps me take photos at the events. She supports me and makes me better at what I do. So this was our fourth qualifying round and things went right for me for a change. <laughs> Pam was spotting me telling me where I was relative to the other pilots, which is really important. The 20 points I earned here will hopefully bump me up into the top places and move on to the next round. They have to go around the track three times. Each racer is judged by somebody watching the same live feed from the pilot camera. The judge is making sure that each pilot is going through every obstacle and around every flag. He's in a spin, he's out of control. Oh. If they don't finish the obstacle and then they complete their lap, they're disqualified. How am I, Pam? The excitement is probably Finish! Oh, I think we have a winner. Bring it down, Ken. Woo! Two, three, and three, and three, and three. That puts us in the finals. Five years from now, I think drone racing is going to be a very serious sport with endorsements, professional pilots, with annual contracts. Don't tell my boss, but if I was offered the right contract, I would quit my day job as a design engineer to fly. Oh man, who is that in the lead? Betty. All right, the amazing Ken Liu. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, oh no! Oh no! That had to hurt. I couldn't see it. The sun. When I came around that corner, I was going really fast, and the sun flare. All I saw was the sun. Oh. <laughs> Smacked straight into the gate. So now I'm done. I got last in that heat, so I'm not going to move on to the championship race. We have lift off. Even though I crashed, that's racing. There's so many factors that go into it. Anything can happen that puts even the best pilots into the ground. But I'm feeling good. The event today was a huge success. I had a ton of fun. The world leaders of drone entertainment. Not my day. On to the next one. <laughs>